this side of everything. Now I know per pit of no I This is bad. Mildly bad. And we run. Really? Glad about those arrives. Now I run. Aha, uh -huh, I thought I heard a pop. All I hear is popping if you're talking to me. Also, wild Colby. Perfect. Already an A out of 10 setup. Aha! Uh -huh. You fool! You thought you could gust me. But it was me who would gust you with a Pokeball in the face. In the face, I say. Go far-fetched! No! I mean, there really is only one name to give. Something that's going to become a Vespa Queen at some point. Vespa Queen. Yeah, pronunciations are hard. Now, normally out here in this set of wilds, there's supposed to be like a Metapod. And that's what I'm looking for, is a Metapod. Oh, I should go do the daily thing for ceiling. Just crossed my mind. Really? No Metapod? Oh, Tyrogue. Okay, I gotta check my Pokedex. Not my bike, my Pokedex. Well, I can't get- I can't- I can't very well catch Remoraid now, can I? Where are... Oh wait, not that, uh, okay, that's one of the ones that are exclusive to another game. How far down are you, Metapod? I passed it at this point, there's no way it's that low. There you are. It's here in all weather types. That's one. Okay. So we start off sand attacking. I just want to let it build up. Sand attack in your I face. I figured it out. Fi you figured it out? Yeah. I must have somehow managed to accidentally roll my chair over the manual mute switch on my headset. Or something. 
it was oh weird. is is it one of those headsets where like it's like it's like uh two feet down the cord or something the yeah the switch yeah. or I sometimes used... i just leave the headset on the floor because it like falls off my desk and it doesn't matter mm. i I don't know how, well, I don't know if your desk is in a corner, if you have access to a wall, but I would almost recommend just getting, like, one of those 3M, like, quick stick hooks and put it on your wall to put your head headset on. I'm not going to be living here too much longer, so I don't see the point. Alright. Yeah. Is this, like, a hopeful prospect you're on about, or is this something that you know is going to happen soon? It's going to happen soon. I just haven't put everything into pieces, into pieces yet. Pieces, by the way. Thanks. I'll stop. I've realized a flaw in my bug type trainer Pokemon run. And that is? I'm gonna have to use a Dynamax, Set to Scorch, or Butterfree in my run. And that relies on being able to find one in the raid area, which I will not be able to guarantee will happen. Okay, I have two shots at a crit here, I think. And it's like, yeah, I could just trade one over, but I don't want to use a traded Pokemon because then it gets EXP faster. Right. Also, goddamn, we're done. We're, we're done already. Three crits. Yeah, supposedly once it, supposedly with its item, it's not hard. Yeah. It's just you pretty much need its item. Imagine having a level eight of all Pokemon. Thank Wolf. Chica or Matt for this for this because he gave me the hook he read my Twitter post and then gave me the hook. Oh up. you mean my liege? Yes, my liege. Level eight sir fetched. My how fetching. Eh, 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 eh. I'll stop. I <laughs> die without my leak. The leak stock is both a weapon and food. Boy just eats onion. Sure, we'll give it raw defense over sand attack. A level 8 Pokemon learning iron defense? It's like, damn. Damn. That petty, huh? It's just, what the? He's a brick wall. I cannot hurt him. Cannot hurt the wall. He's problem. How did he get so strong? Okay. So the next thing I, in terms of Pokedex, well, first thing I'm going to do here is swap in the big monkey. And I'm going to look at some of these Pokemon that are wandering around this opening area that are supposed to be bodyguards of sorts and see if I can catch any of them. Yeah? Well, most of the big ones are usually level 60. This one's 30. One. Wait, I'm wrong. I was wandering around in the, like, the later area near Hammerlock. A lot of them were like 60, 55, 50. Yeah, they are. I'm in the first area because I had to find a uh, met. I had to find a Metapod for the for the things to work. Get paralyzed, damn it! Ouch, don't do that. Okay, there. Should be catch range. Listen, let me just catch Hapu's horse. Uh, 
Oh, right. That's the other thing is I was going to do. I got hella distracted really fast. The other, one other thing I want to do is try and achieve friggin... God, what is it? Uh, Galarian Yamas evolution criteria. Which, that's bonkers, but okay. Do you know what they are? I know what it is for a Yamask. Because... It I'm either... not going to lie, I used a Runarigus in my final team, and I still don't understand what the evolution requirement is. Take 49 damage, survive, and then pass under some overpass in the Dusty Bowl. Uh, I mean, I just, like, did it and it worked. But, like... Monkey was trying to do it for like 10 minutes the other day and it wasn't working for him. So I was like, I don't know what this is. Uh, I need to pull somebody out for half a minute. While I mean, Renaragus is really funny. I like it a lot. Uh, I need to rename it to Earl Grey, not Earl T. I fucked up. Earl T? This boomer name. I wanted to name it Earl Grey because T name. Earl Grey is a really good kind of tea. Never had it. I like it. Actually, when I make homemade iced tea, it's homemade Earl Grey. It's really nice. So, I think we'll pull Gene out for a little bit just to get this Yamauchi, as I've named it. Don't Yamauchi. Ask, don't ask why I've named it Yamauchi. I won't. Listen, I've named Pokemon my party Thump Truck. Don't. I will not ex ask anyone to explain their nicknames at any point. Unless you name a Pokemon a hat waifu, then I will have questions for you. Uh, like how many? Like 27 at least? Like, how are you allowed to have been given birth to? Oh, that. Um, where is that freaking... Oh, it's over here. I was going to ask, where is it? Where is the thing? Because I have to. Because I'm going to do this to see if I can't help you, even though it's been a week. Um. So, speaking of this thing, where are they? Are you looking for the battle cafes? Yeah, well, I found the one. There's only the one that gives sweets, I feel like. It's completely random what item they give you. Oh, so I know, there's, I know there's two, so. Well, there's actually three, but you can't go to one of them yet because it's in a later city. Yeah, so I have a berry sweet and a strawberry sweet so far. Nice. I think you get the strawberry sweet, like, playing the game normally. Yeah, it's just on the ground, a quote-unquote hidden item. And then the berry sweet is nice because it's the best-looking one, in my opinion. Oop, I went out to the route. Although I haven't seen the ribbon or star sweets yet, so maybe those look better. But I like the way the berry looks. I'm assuming that just makes it like a blue hue. No, so the sweet, uh, which sweet you use to evolve it determines the eye color and also what the hair decoration is. The hair decoration is obviously the sweet. Oh, there he is. And then the color of the cream is determined by like how, where, not where, but how and when and in which way you evolve the milsery it's a really confusing gimmick but anyway i have 11 alchemies out of 63 so that's where we stand right now all right are you still in pursuit of course all right well let me go to it this takes, it takes like 10 minutes of effort every day to continue oh yeah but you kind of made a point to harp on me, so I will at least attempt to help. Just, do you have any sweets for me, bro? Man, I can actually give you exclusives, too. I, I have... Oh, you mean some exclusives? I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, Alright, Sir Fetched, I don't know why you're out there, but you're no longer allowed to be out here. <laughs> you 
Do Who's some teaching a poison jab? I probably should teach a poison jab, considering even though it's pure grass type, I probably can learn it fairly easily. Grass type, by the way. Grass type, thank you. No. Wait. Oh, are you talking about your monkey? Yes. I was talking about your far-fetched. Oh, I didn't know it could learn it. I mean, I'm assuming it can because it's a fighting type, and every fighting type can learn poison jab, but... Or it feels like every fighting type can learn poison jab. I don't know that for sure. I didn't use your stupid meme bird. Uh, Obviously. I just got this meme bird. <laughs> It's already level 20. Whoops. Rock Smash. Yeah. If it learns Rock Smash, it learns Poison Jab. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look this up. Surfetched. Learn set. I would say Cerebi <laughs> Surfetched should help you with all your answers. I use that site like a Bible. Surfish now also wants to learn Brutal Swing. It can learn Poison Jab via TR. Okay. So, it is possible. Also, I gotta... Oop. It is the only Poison type move it learns, I guess. Even though, I guess, not everything in this gen can learn Toxic. Yeah, I was reading something about that the other day. Like, um... There we go. Finally got that thing. Uh, I was reading something about that the other day where... Only, like... 40% of this dex can learn it? Well, this new dex, I should say. The new Pokemon. Uh, That's super weird. Because Toxic has always been the TM that literally every Pokemon in the game can learn. Yeah. Alright, Cafe Master. I've beaten you. Give me money, and I'll give me a sweet. Don't give me Whip Dream, because I already have one of those. Fuck. <laughs> hey. I got a I got a rare candy. It's fine. I didn't do this because I thought it would be easy. Uh. Okay, the other one should be at the front half of Modal Stock. Modal Stock. Modorochi. Oh, wait, you are a shield version. I always forget that. I still love Surfetch's name in Japanese and how great of a pun it is. Um, how much would I appreciate it? Or is it All just... right, so its name in Japanese is Neg Negiga Naito, which ha has in it uh, the words... Uh, I can't be without my leak. Nicky guy night. But it's also just onion night. Final Fantasy, nice. Uh this is like uh Negiga Naito. Negiga Naito. Hey, it's it's like Nagito. Uh oh. No, it's really not. It's not. <laughs> I, I really am starting to appreciate just all of the puns. Oh, there he is. You know how, like, every gym leader's number is a Japanese number pun? I haven't been paying like, too like much attention to the number. numbers, actually. <laughs> well, if you didn't speak Japanese at all, you would never know them. But some of them are really funny. But there's just, like, this thing in Japan where, like, the different ways you can read numbers makes them used for puns all the time. Like, uh, Milo's, I think his number is, like, uh, 931. It's, like, Yasai, Yasai Vegetable. And it's all, like, dumb stuff like that. Oh, okay, that's, ex that's cute. I'm really excited, because I'm like, man, when I do my bunk type one, I also want to have a good punt. And my friend who actually speaks Japanese helped me out with one. He's like, well, the word for B is pronounced the same as the letter 8, 
and then 38 or the honeybee can be Mitsubachi, which is 38. And I'm like, nice. God bless people who actually understand this language. I only have a vague understanding of. Is this somebody else or is this Meech? It's not Meech. I actually don't think Meech speaks any Japanese besides what you learn in anime, which is not a good metric for learning a language because people in anime don't speak like actual human beings. They have vocal quirks that make them to let them fit into tropes better. Okay, the I got aren't another realistic. berry sweet. Got another berry. I like the berry sweet. It's blue. Okay, anyway. Um back on the grand tour, grand tour. <laughs> In the grand line. How many gyms are you up to, by the way? Uh, I just beat the fourth the other day. All right. Let's see. What level are you? Uh, no, not that. How did you appreciate Alistair's gym? I liked his. I liked his gimmick. I I liked it. I liked it a lot more once I figured out that both sticks can be used to do the spinning. So I went with right hand Mario Party One spinning. <laughs> So Alistair was really funny to me because I somehow managed to be underleveled for this gym. I was his his Gengar almost swept me. I was on par, but I also used an Obstagoon. Yeah, I didn't use any dark types. I think I might have mentioned this story. Uh, one of the reasons this gym was so hard is because I immediately threw my Thievel in the garbage because it's ugly. And the instant I realized that my Nicket turned into Waluigi's Persona. angry pet, I threw it in the garbage because it's ugly and I can't stand it. How dare you do this to my cute evil fox Pokemon? I wonder what the shiny for Nicket and Thiva look like. Maybe that would change things. Well, I just have issues with the stupid mustache whiskers. Crafty shield. Oh yeah, Crafty Shield. Oh! Neat! Yeah. Okay, okay. Dark Trio, I need you to deal about 50 damage. Dark Trio, though, it, it, it is already a sandstorm. This does nothing. Yamask is part ground now. It's also part. It's also part ghost. I'm pretty sure it was already part ghost. Okay. Perfect. Oh, yo, Arena Trap. It's mine now. <laughs> Except I'm going to give it right back. Um, okay. So, we survived the damage. So we bring out the, we bring out the finisher. Now I have to go. Oh, God. I just saw a Twitter joke that, um, well, yeah, he does need to be in Dusty Bowl to evolve, but he has to take the damage first. Yes. Sorry, I saw this funny Twitter meme that I want to share, but I don't. But you haven't seen that Pokemon yet, so you can't appreciate it. Correct. Oh well, I'll, re um, I'll retweet it anyway. I'm not on Twitter right now. I'm on Cerebi finding. Where the Oh, am I in... No, I'm in Sword and Shield. Let's say I'm not that dumb. I know this much. And then... In one battle, walk under the stone... Walk under the stone sculpture in the Dusty Bowl area, in the wild area. Okay. Casually just have Marnie's battle theme stuck in my head. 
And then I can get back on with going through the wild, wild woods. Oh, were you, you were responding to Silver Star. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't think you need to be in the Dusty Bowl. It's just you have to take the damage and then walk underneath. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, now this now that's done. Go to this is the dusty bowl. So the best way to get there is actually to go to the Pokemon nursery on Route Five and then bike over to it. This is literally the opposite of the truth. You literally cannot get to the wild area from Route Five. Yeah, you're right. It looks like it's it on literally there. suspended in the air. It looks like it. It looks like it was close to the map, okay? And my memory is bad, so don't ask me to remember things. Just scooter confirmed old. So we pop with those buff boy Machoke just out here. That's a wild halucha. Wait. I think that halucha is level 48 or 52. Dang it. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Yeah. I'm definitely not the authority on wild area Pokemon, since I almost never caught any so before post-game. Go into this, not that one. I always find it, like, when I did it, I, like, hugged the inside of it. Okay, let's try again. God damn it, what? A very strong looking Nicket! Just let me walk under things. I already have that chuckle. Where is the thing I'm after? Is it one of those? Hi, Wild Tyranitar. How's it going? Is it this thing? Well, let's go with this strategy. Up it up it up it up. Rock's too close. I wonder if it's 49 damage in a single go. Okay, now this is Stony Wilderness, so it has to be... It has to be that. All right, pause for a minute while I pull up the page.
Alright. Yeah, mute this site, because it's going to be one of those sites that's going to pop up something stupid. Uh, let's try walking instead of biking. Well, that just tells me I actually have to take actual damage and not environmental damage. That's all that tells me. So, back out we go somewhere. Yes, I am. I I took the 49 damage, but I it was also mostly... In, well, no, it was environmental damage. What am I on about? I did take actual damage. God damn it. And uh, that's probably going to be some dumb thing that because I healed it, it's not counting anymore or something stupid like that. God damn it, I hit backwards thinking I was going to keep running down. <sighs> yeah, he's deaf. Are you still trying to evolve an area? Sorry, I was reading a wall of text. No, yeah, I am. Although so, type of damage just missing at least forty nine HP when I evolved. I was practically touching the rock of that arch. Yeah, like I hugged it super far inside too. Well, but I me... think that there might be some hidden level requirement too, because mine was level fifty and it had no difficulties. So maybe it's like a level thirty five requirement or something. Maybe. And just no one who tried it before was below that level. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, I'm going to talk about games that aren't Pokemon now. Fair enough. Bruh. Neo. Giggles. Game of the year. 10 out of 10. Come on, hit me with damage. Her best quality, her giggles. I feel like that's her only quality just because, like, that's her only vocal. I mean, she has other qualities. She's a teleport character, which is fun. Uh, she has funny air combos because she has moves that reset her jump counters. So I'm imagining at the highest level of, like, nonsense, you could get, uh... You could get, uh, like... You could get, th uh, three air jumps in a combo. And that just looks funny. I'm missing 56 life. Okay. Her supers look dope. Um, she is the only good character from her source material. That's the hill I'm dying on. I mean, I guess I should, I suppose, the quantifier in in that game, in that game, playable in that game, only good character based on what no, you said. No, 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 uh, no, no. She's the only good character in all of Ruby. So not Torchwick. He I mean, Torchwick is probably the second best character in that, but there are a few... I guess, like, initial Torchwick is really good, and then, like, 
wants all of the stuff with like the powers that be. Basically, once uh, Cinder is introduced to the story, I like stopped caring about Torchwig. Because it's like, oh, this guy who I thought was really cool and everything actually is just kind of oh, a pansy. It, it worked. That sucks. He's still like better than like every other character. That isn't, you know. There. I have made a Runarigus. At level 31. All right. So I think the level cap is literally what HP pool it's sitting at on that level. I mean, that would make sense, but it was just weird that Monkey couldn't get it to work. I don't know. Technically second try, but I'll say first try just to gloat slightly. Anyway, are you going to name it the Sacred Texts like I did? No, well, no, I'm not going to rename it. Slab. Could name it Slab for Return the Slab. What's your slab. offer? I can't do I can't do it, Eustace voice. What's your offer? Buttons, they're hard. Buttons, they're hard. Help. All right, now that I got that done. Uh, this. Debating if I want to use a surf fetched in the party, but I think most of my party's like already decided. Besides this one, po besides this one Pokemon, that I'm leveling up. I took the wrong Pokemon up. Haha. <laughs> What if I just complete? Son of a button's hard. Where's my stupid duck? There. All's well with the world. Now let's return to the forest. Are you having a giggle, mate? Just <laughs> so I guess what I should ask is, when you mean Neo laughs, does she actually just do like a little giggle, or does she just do? Yeah, a she has little giggles when she does combos, or like oh. after she like hits people with supers. It's really cute, actually. Do not. Brother, do not look do not look at her. Look into my eyes. Giggles are temporary. <laughs> combos are forever. <laughs> Listen, she also <laughs> has combos. <laughs> and she's a teleport character. She has so much mix up. I think she's I think she's OD. I didn't look at patch notes because I haven't played this game in two years, so I wouldn't know what they mean anyway. But I'm assuming they nerfed but, Ruby, because why wouldn't they? But they won't nerf Gardo. They nerfed Gordo a while ago. Oh. They just didn't nerf Ruby for some reason. They were like, yeah, yeah Ruby Gordo is the strongest team in the game. We'll nerf one of those characters. Thinking emoji. Big thonk. Or it's like, maybe they did nerf Ruby at the same time, but it like didn't matter. She was still the best character in the game, de facto. Yeah, it's a nice shenotic. Go recycle. You can do it. Okay, now I know just back here it. Oh, snore. Boom. 
So they really just put the good moves behind uh, technical recordings, I guess. Is that what you call them? I thought they were called training or technical records. Technical records, okay. I just or went training with the records or something. Yeah, I just are went they with called what... technical machines? Yes. I always assumed they were called training machines because yeah. that makes more sense. I mean, but... you learn some tech. I guess it doesn't really matter what they're called. Curly, a trace, levitate. Don't matter, because when that eventually connects, it's going to hurt. Anyway. Gene, give the nine tails a big hug. I, I, I'm, I getting like the, I'm getting the mental image of just Curly, a trace, levitate, and it starts just like floating above the ground. <laughs> Like floating. like the model just like gets rotated up the y axis or gets like translated up the y axis like twelve units so it starts floating. Just start, uh, just starts pa hi guy just starts panicking like Sh how do I get down how do how down how do down. <laughs> Recycle wants to learn the move toxic. Okay, you sold me. Uh. Oh, right. Okay, well, bye, double hit. I'm keeping self-destruct. You can't tell me not to. You can. The only way I will get rid of... The only reason I will ever... <laughs> I will ever get rid of self-destruct. Explosion. No. <laughs> Give the night tails a hug. Where's my hug scooter? You want a you want a hug from an obstacle? <laughs> Do you wish to be yeeted by this kid, uh, obnoxious kiss fan? Kiss fan? You're not a fighting team. Yell. Ha! Gone. That's the that's the genius of it, Wolf. You toxic them, then you, and then you blow up. Now I can your thighs. And then My you blow up. My thighs? <laughs> and then you blow up. Okay, but like that single line actually truly is like the pinnacle of comedy. Just, what will I do? Blow up? No, worse. It'll go right to your thighs. <laughs> and then you'll blow up. Damn. <laughs> that really is even worse. Thighs, Pikachu face. <laughs> Oh, sound fresh. Oh, I can find out where these are. Anyway, hey, you're in the whatever the heck the name of this cave area is. You can oh. catch Ponyta here. Yep, I've already caught a couple and put it out and put a few of them on a wonder trade. All right. See, this is the wombo combo. So I did that, and then I also taught Venoshock. Oh shit, is that my... Oh! Oh, that hurt. Whoa. My turn. You are not a fairy. No, it's psychic type, I think. Bunkus. I think it's psychic normal, actually. It's kind of an odd combination. Jereferate, goddammit! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Giraffe rig, no! Your 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 defining quality stolen from you by a chancy wannabe. I was gonna go with um, not that. Uh, what's oh, shit? What's that Pokemon from? Hold time. I don't even remember what generation it was. It got a Mega Evolution. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's basically not... a great Audino. It's Galarin Audino. Ooh, <laughs> dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam uh, over Disarming Voice. I don't like it. I like it. Why is the Jim Leader song such a banger? 
all it needs behind, all the gym leader song needs behind now is just like the crowd chanting and time music, just yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's when it gets better. <laughs> Uh, this, this oh! Bit. Hello, Morgrem. You. <laughs> you. <laughs> it looks like an Undertale. It's not, but it looks like one. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how to stop you. With mountains. Wait, did you seriously call that a vibe check? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Vibe check. <laughs> Sorry, your vibes are atrocious. Alright. Berserker, one request. Don't kill it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks too nice. That's Damn it! Not what I want to fight. Whoa. Well, that fight's over fast. Oops. Oh well, I can just level up in the impetip I caught. Luminous moss. Ooh. I'm a fan. That Luminous Moss would work great. You know, if it could survive it, that Luminous Moss would actually be great on, like, a, ta like a tank set up rock ground type. Like, or, yeah, like a rock ground type. Like, uh, like a Golem or, yeah, well, hell, even Colossal could probably benefit from it to some degree. Sounds like he had food. Or he has food. Pizza, pizza time? I would pause that, actually. Okay. Wait, I need to find that song someday. Spider-Man pizza theme played on Nomatome. Oh, that? I was going to say... Ridiculous to see what it is. I was going to say, just the, just, just the Spider-Man just the spider pizza song. It's like, I, I have it downloaded. Do you want it? No, but this is the Onotome version of it. Ah, I see. The superior shit post. <laughs> yeah. It's pizza time. <laughs> I, you know, I actually had never have played this uh, Spider-Man 2, I think is what it was. I mean, same, but yes. I know about the song. The whole internet knows about the song at this stage. It's actually a really good game. You'd be surprised. No, I'm not saying it's a bad game. Like, I think all the way up until, I think like, if I remember right, like, up like almost every Spider-Man game was a good game, and then, like halfway through Spider-Man three, movie tie-in game, it just kind of tanked. There is more a lull. Why? Did it... it. You're adorable. Yeah. I got- I caught the Shinotic. No more alone sight. Oh well, that's why- that's why we have a breeder, as soon as I find that ditto. Oh, I need to find the person who, uh... Gives out nest ball- or net balls, rather. Um, there is somebody who sells net balls already. I- uh, I figure there is, since I found someone who sold dusk balls, but... <clears throat> a couple of those things. Dust balls are so goddamn useful. Okay, because I want to make sure I'm hearing you right. Nest or net? Net. Okay. I think uh, I were sold myself. by the Pokemon Center in Modest, though. I mean, maybe. Okay, I don't even know what Pokemon, Pokemon works on dive balls. So I'm just going to chuck this one at it and see how it works. I think it's, it's a, any Pokemon that you can encounter while quote unquote surfing. I guess, because, like, like I know they introduced these in Generation 4 when they put in dive, diving as a mechanic, but, like, 
you know, it gave sense and it was just like, oh, it works more under dive Pokemon. Like, but I can die. This creepy old man asked me to put on fiery clothes. I'm not okay anymore. Yeah, I still don't know what, I still don't know what that does. I changed yeah. into the fire uniform for him. I, like, I flew to another city to change and then put on the fire gym uniform and flew back and he wasn't having it. So I was like, all right, I guess mm. I'll never finish your quest line, asshole. Yes, I do. I know how you make Pokemon strong without evolving it. It's called Eviolite. I need a ground type in my team. Oh, you would use Those a sacred dime. texts! You're... I don't want to use the Unmask. You're not. Why You're going to use Runagigas. Because I have like two Pokemon that have... Crunch moves and strong jaw. I don't need a dark type or a ghost. Oh. Unfortunately, if I want to stick to my team's like thing, the only other option I really have is Snick. But Lord knows what I get rid of in exchange. You could always use an Excadrill. I'm trying to use. With exception of Bell Awesome, I'm trying to use Galarin forms. Or Galarin Pokemon and Galarin forms. Like, Extra Joe would be a perfect fit, otherwise, but I can't. It How rude. Count. You brought up that name. What? Escadrill. He's unironically one of my favorite Pokemon out there. Like I said, he saved my Pokemon White Run all those years ago. By being disgustingly lucky with rock slides. <laughs> I knew it. Give me the EV light. It's time to put this All right, on. Where an the hell's Lapras? I fought one here earlier. Ah! I think there's one in the first wild area. <sighs> Chill in the water. Oh. Use I a uh, Santa Cobra guy. Uh, no, that's literally what I just said. The only other option I have to be is Snick. Yay, Chincho everywhere! I'm um, I'm in I am place. aware that Pokemon does have a unique uh, Dynamax form. Like, do I have to catch the one in the wild in order to get that, or...? Yes, yeah, to my knowledge, the only way to get Gigamax Pokemon is you catch them in the wild with open raids. Fuck. And or breed them from those Pokemon. Ugh. Isn't that just the worst? Yeah, a little bit. I would love to use Dreadmaw otherwise. Okay, but fucking Dreadnaw having uh just its Giga move being what it is is so ridiculous. Oh my god, they what really wanted that Pokemon to be used in competitive. What is it? Uh it's the it's the water Z move, except it also sets up Smogon rocks. It's a Smogon rock. Stealth rocks. Oh. Oh. I see. I know what he's talking about. Honestly, I haven't even really touched raids all that much. Mainly because I didn't really have. <gasps> oh my god, it's you! Wait, Anna. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh what? my god, it's you! Hold on, I gotta stick my dog on them. Actually, one thing I want, I need to get the other fossils so I can get those other Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I'm debating if I want to do trade, like try and do like force trades, or like uh, I don't think GTS is a thing in this where you can like say I want this Pokemon, give me this Pokemon, because I would do that. Just say, hey, I'm here's mostly... here's a Dracofish, give me, give me, give me, give me. I mostly just want the water ice Pokemon. Hi, Marnie. You're so fucking precious when you smile. Fuck, more pickle it. scares me. No, I didn't Even mean to kill that thing. I wary of you. Pickle. Hey, 
Just taken her leak card or leak cards? Okay, yeah, her card. Her card. I thought she was giving me a collection. Wait, yeah, Rotom so I'll accept you as a rival. Uh... I think if he was my just you we were rivals before? Marnie, that really breaks my heart. Marnie, that actually does break my heart because you fucking rocked my team with the Morpeko and nothing else. That actually happened. Yeah. Well, I didn't actually get knocked out, but it basically knocked out three Pokemon before I finally to toppled it. I mean, it happened to me in the same way, but literally because it did bite six times in a row and flinch proc on the first five. That's wild. Yeah, it was not great. I didn't like it. <laughs> Ball guy is here for you. Thinking about the tweet I saw earlier today that was like, there are pro Pokemon players? Imagine losing your sponsor and becoming broke because Stone Edge missed three times in a row. I, I, I saw that the other day. <laughs> Wait, really? Wait, is that an actual thing that happened? No, but I believe oh. it. <laughs> I, I believe it would happen. <laughs> I mean, literally, like the Excadrill story, I got, um, like, Rothstein has an 85 accuracy and has a 15% chance of flinching. Guess who managed two flinches in a row and hit the third one? While well, literally having only one other Pokemon that was also weak to the thing I was fighting. <laughs> that uh, wasn't a fun day. I'm not supposed to break a leg, lady. Did you not get the memo? Legs don't break. No, you break their legs. Oh. It's more efficient that way. Oh, this gym is really fun, by the way. Smile. Hi, Opal. Not smile. Oh, shit, this guy's here. I have... Oh, so I should mention this. I officially have all batches. Hooray. I can now catch all the things. Okay. Simple. Why is this thing going to fly? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and, and my dog dodged it like a champ. I love him. Oh, all oh, right, this gem. I like this. It. This is Blaine 2.0. Except with increased stakes. Not the same stakes. Oh, that was a crit capture. Okay, cool. What the why is it on a stage? Okay, this is getting better every You're being interviewed. I did I did come here to be interviewed. Stage and mankind is its players. Oh, this is normal? Huh. Go figure. Let's see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym successor. Me 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 by the way, just chilling over here with with a Galarian wheezing. I can do it. <laughs> Follow up question. Do you like the color pink? <laughs> Bleh. <gasps> Sorry, I, I spit on the spurt seat. I, I, I apologize. Please come back, friend, as I killed accidentally earlier because I underestimated Crunch. Uh... Alright. Now Slurpuff, on the other hand, needs needs a metal touch. Mountain Man the Sociable. Yep, that's a social looking Pokemon, alright. Wait, when you mean the Sociable, there are titles in this game? Yeah. Yes, what? there are. What? Random NPCs will, like, give your Pokemon ribbons if they meet, like, certain personality thresholds. What? It literally know. doesn't show up. Uh, really? I've just got I they, I've just gotten them like by catching Pokemon. There is like no Pokemon I've specifically gone all the way to get the ribbon for. I've just I have never them. caught a Pokemon with a ribbon ever. Maybe oh, I got wait a minute. Trade. I don't know. No, I I actually did catch a Pokemon like that recently. The um the actually no. Type. Yeah, no, Gaia. I'm on Gaia's side with this one. I caught this this Galar and Meow. Well, no, like, I uh, I made it to the route that had those, like, fighting-type octopuses in it, and, like, I caught the, uh, the base form, and it had, like, some bandage ribbon on it. Uh, 
Oh fuck, this was going again. Don't worry about the last question. Keep it moving. Okay. Yeah, they say that though. I just realized, like that that first question, you can't mess it up. Mm -hmm. Correct. Like, see, like I was hammering through the text, and I didn't even know that you know I had to wait. So like I was just it's like, oh shit, did I get the right one? You know, it's like yeah, you did. Like, oh. Patience, Iago. <laughs> All right, uh, Aromatisse, you are physically defensive, so we'll stick with this. <gasps> Get out. I found you at last. Question. Uh, pretty sure it was a net. Really? I had to pay that much attention? It's fine. Oh, yeah. This gym is really fun. Wait, oh, right. Okay, you know what? I, I'm, gonna, I'm setting up. I don't trust this aromatise. I forgot. Ditto has Limber. How dare. I hope you I hope you die to Toxic. In the meantime, Venishok. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna BRB. Alright. Ha! Joke's on you. I don't take damage from that. Nuzzle fight. Ah, Venom Shock. Surprise! It's oh my god, that thing is dead. <laughs> Uh, double power dial. <laughs> Honestly, like, a certain Pokemon from Sun and Moon is in this game, and if I wasn't using my self-imposed rule, I would definitely be putting it on here, and it would be very good for this place. Don't worry about right or wrong, she says. I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna score 100% on this quiz. You literally are the same person again. Yeah. There, there's Sudo. Come on, All man. Right, sorry. Even I X and Y had the, had the first Sode girls. Oh. I can now breed Pokemon. Poggers. And he has a quick powder. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Oh, you, you hella lucked out. Doesn't happen very often, but it does. Oof. I remember in X and Y, uh, somebody on my friends list was normal type, and Ditto was in their front in their friend Safari. Uh, uh, and nice. oh my god, I got so many Dittos. I think I even caught two shinies at one point of Dittos. I was in there for so long. I'm gonna be the world's best Pokemon breeder. Settle down, Brock. <laughs> I've never seen such a beautiful woman. What are you talking about? Just... Uh... Whoa... Uh, you're rich. Just you curry out. for breakfast. You're braver than I am. I'm sorry? Who said you could learn mystical fire? Nah, I'm coming for the throat. Nah, here it comes. Iron head. Here it comes, then the rest of them. Now we have them. Just turn around, you'll see a beautiful one behind you. Please, Misty, only one of us can be delusional at a time. <laughs> Oof. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. I'm the guy that sells dust balls. Also, that is not fair. That is a question that you can't that you might not be able to even get right just by design. I mean, again, who eats curry for breakfast? I would. I do. Also, uh, the Persona 5 protagonist does. Uh This is facts. Red eats curry for breakfast. 
I like this man. He eats curry for breakfast. Probably eats the spice stuff too. Listen, curry doesn't have to be spicy. It just kind of comes with the... None of you are free of sin. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Sonya, fail. Number of correct answers, three. No, literally, it's, uh, like, he just brute forced his way through. <laughs> oh, I didn't read that. Okay. Oh, there's an item. I'm gonna go challenge the gym leader. Oh, Let's see. So what is 87, by the way? That's my birth year. Ah. Also, also, it's the Pokedex entry for Dugong I found out later on. Okay, so, like, I found out today that a lot of people made their num- Oh, okay, outside of the meme number, a lot of people made their numbers the, uh, the Pokedex entry for their favorite Pokemon, and I was just like, oh, mine's just the number I have at the end of my channel. A streamer, uh, I know, made their number the number of Farfetch'd in the decks, and I'm like, that's funny. You cannot separate people from my league. But yeah, I'm literally just straight ass nine, and then I realize like everyone in the game goes by like three digit numbers except for Leon because he's a special snowflake, I guess. I don't know. Uh, like literally I saw Leon do number one and I'm just like, oh okay, so I can just do a single number. Yeah, right? That threw me off so hard, because they revealed Nessa. Nessa's number is 049. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it has like to be a three-digit number. Yeah, no, literally everyone else in the game has three-digit numbers that has a number. So it's just well, like, that, okay. It's because but... they're all puns, is why. No, oh, oh, no, I know that. I was actually about to mention that, but no, yeah. This is awkward. Oh, One of us yeah, going to have to um... change. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but <laughs> not you! <laughs> Listen. I don't know what the, her, her game plan is. I'm going with something that'll resist whatever move she's going to throw out. Case in point. Question! Uh... Wizard. It's fine. Oh, I got that one wrong. Oh! Like, we, sp we speedy? Be Here comes a giant fist! That's not... What honor? There's no honor to be had here. Mawile. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Actually, uh-oh. Well, I actually don't know anything that can just straight count oh, on Mawile. Oh, that's... that's I, I don't have a fire type and I don't have any ground moves. So it's a steel fight. Yeah, see, like, I, I realize they don't really give you much in the way of ground types in this game. It's fine. I mean, Listen. I had Bunny, so this battle was... This part of the battle was not terribly difficult for me. You had Diggersby, though? I I, I caught one, but no. Diggersby, though! What about Diggersby? I had the better Bunny. Got him. I don't know what you're talking about. He's a soccer player. Oh, that bunny. Uh, pink. Bamboozled. Wow. 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 Just an entire bitch. Yeah, I, I was kind of tilted about that one as well. I was just like, what the hell is the point then? <laughs> Nah. I, I guess it makes sense because she is wearing purple, but shrug. Surfetch like to learn to move knockoff. No, it wouldn't. Toga kiss, eh? Can Toga kiss can learn aura sphere? I don't think can learn anything psychic. God damn it. I think this is her last I, Pokemon too, so let's see. 
I hate that, like, I killed a rare... I, I'm pretty sure I just killed a rare Pokemon just a little while ago, and now I'm kind of fucked. Uh... Hello, what, what, what? I need confirmation. Get quick game. No, this is not her last Pokemon. I'm still gonna. Run, I'm still gonna run it back. Oh, air slash me. That's fine. Shit. <laughs> With my dying breath. Fuck you! Wow. Here, I'm gonna look something up real quick. Just for peace of mind. Fuck who? Wait, did you seriously just blow up your best Pokemon? What do you mean, best Pokemon? Can you even. Oh, well, he's about to die. Okay, never mind. That's more yeah. acceptable. Yeah, might as well, I guess, huh? Might as well jump. Yay. No, actually right now this is probably my best Pokemon in this fight. I want some coin. Give me coin. Okay, I can't catch this in an earlier brute. Alright, then we're fine. I'm just gonna I'm gonna Give me coin! Uh, hmm. You with counter? Hmm. I never really like moves like counter in Miracle because it involves your Pokemon having to, one, get hit, and two, guessing the right type of move. Which is like, I, I guess in some cases it's not yeah. that bad, in other cases it's a, just a natural crapshoot. Yeah, like, uh, Obstagoon is meant to be, you know, a counter wall, but all right, mm. we have to make for the greater good. We have to make a small sacrifice. Oh, that's those are horses. And beware! Whoa, no, leave me alone. You need tea. You chase after me too. Oh, okay. Question. How old are you? I feel like this is a this is a trick question, but I mean. Oh, I didn't even get to this question. I killed her before this point. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. You could have been a little more sensitive. Well, she punishes you for being right. <laughs> you're. That's hilarious. I didn't know that. You are thirty-seven and a half degrees of bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. She actually punishes you for being a dick nope, to her. Nope, nope, not okay anymore. <laughs> this is what happens when you make her angry. She summons cake. Yep. Hey. Hey, look, you know? see, like another alchemy form. Smile. <laughs> you know? I know. I know how I can win. Uh, this is just like that Super Mario RPG fight. Whoa. That actually didn't kill. Wait, it's out, right? Oh. Oh no. One percent chance? Ooh, speed down. I like that. I killed you, you, you look like you're a whole cake. And I'm about to be booster. That heals. Pack up the drum kit. All right. So we've had a big goon in the last gym. Who wants to see a really big cat? Lolly ho. Lolly ho. Uh, 
I got knives for cutting the cake. Done. Oko. Lolly ho, bitch. Thank you, Gaia. What are you thinking, we fun? <laughs> cause, cause Final Fantasy dwarves, lolly ho. <laughs> oh, I found leftovers. Oh shit! <laughs> Your pink is still lacking. Lady, please. Oh hey, look who else, look who else is joining in on the fun. It's vibe check. <laughs> Check. It actually is. It actually is vibe check now. I just love that comic, Phil. Sir, your vibes are atrocious. And it pummels fills them the <laughs> to get them to quiet down. I still love the description of the final form. It silences them violently. I'm sorry, you're a psychic type that can learn Brutal Swing? Hold up. Back up. Never mind your attack stat is Garboder. That's still funny though that you can learn Brutal Swing. I actually can't think- I actually really can't think of a psychic type that gets access to a dark move. Uh, like, maybe Crunch or something somewhere. Eh, I forgot about Goth- uh, Tell. Maybe Goth Tell. What's a Goth Tell? It's the- It's the Gen 5 Pokemon that's black, but it's a psychic type. It looks like it's wearing a big dress. Oh, Gothitel. Yeah, Gothitel. Okay. Yeah, no, I forgot. I didn't use that one. I would. Oh, I also played white, so I didn't get that one. I got to Ocean or whatever the hell that line is. You battle good, lady. But unfortunately, Lolly Ho wins. You gotta find that Twitter post someday. <laughs> You're just gonna scroll by without saying a friendly Lolly Ho. Thank you for draining kiss. Oh. She just kind of runs the whole show. She doesn't even let her receptionist give you the fairy uniform. You know what? I, I like the message that this game has a lot, the underlying message of usher in the new generation. How did you do that? Stop that. <laughs> well, certainly I'll come along with you. Just don't do any of that weird, creepy standing right next to me. My, my, you better. Who the, what the oh. fuck did you. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Smile. Oh, Some Pokemon prefer it this way. You use the Pokemon that likes it this way. Hey, listen, don't kink shame. Talk about Galarian wheezing. Come on now. I just like, I just like how small Galarian wheezing and Galarian, or uh, I guess it's not even Galarian, Surfetch look just because of their extra bits. Huh. <sighs> Right, I'm curious. Uh, Check something. Oh. 
Okay, there looks like there's some new items in the clothing shop potentially, so I'm gonna stop in here really quick. It looks like oh, I just realized you have the gray, uh, the gray jacket too, huh? Well, of course. I, when it's cold out, I always wear my hooded, gr my gray hooded jacket that is of shovel knight. Oh my god, there's bucket hats. Mmm. I still have the yellow version of the hat you had, have at like the very beginning. Oh, no, you can get it at the very beginning of the game. Right there. I'm pretty sure the guy in town, I don't have the money to do this. Oh, I do have the money to do this right now. I feel like the the thing the guy in town wants for fire spirit is basically for you to wear everything that says fire from the shop. Maybe. I mean, I was going to say that he tried the uh, fire type, uh, you know. I think he wore the fire type outfit is what he told me. Yeah, that's what, like that would have been my guess. Oh, I just ran straight Oh, into thank you, one more thing. I am done shopping for now. I just wanted my bucket hat. Oh, it's two-tone. Didn't even see that. Which matches the rest of my outfit. Amazing. I am I am fashionista. I wonder if Picanjo knows that there's bucket hats in this game, because he likes the bucket hat. Hi bead. I'm ready to drop kick you. Kiop! You know, yeah, I have. Cause you deserve this. Smile. Yes, I can waste time like in fact. <laughs> Bitch. Are you just going to stand there and call me bitch all day? Yeah. Bitch. Now this is rather infuriating, I can't do much against the, another gym challenger because I'm not one bitch. <laughs> yes, okay, of course. You, I can actually just call him a bitch. I love this. Hi, Opal. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not okay anymore. Smile. She runs? Pink. Pink. And more pink. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of that scene right there. It was so great. Just congratulations, child. Bitch, what just happened? I just look like the Majora's Mask kind of look she has at this title scene. Like, congratulations, child! Congratulations, child! Can I not have the slow zoom in on somebody over- on somebody Basically, with one foot in the grave and another person who I hate intense, intensely. One person who has a foot in their grave and the other person who you wish you could put in their grave. Smile. <laughs> in other words, he's the other foot. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, wait. There was a person I was supposed to talk to... Oh, oops. There's a person I was supposed to talk to in Bole 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 for with the letter. Yep.
Uh, you definitely don't look like a boy, but let's talk to you anyway. Okay, is it you? Your granddad, that means he's inside. You! Ooh, that would be helpful. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna let that dot out. Oh, you weren't nice to him, Peppa Hannah. Ooh, choice scarf, though. I told them the thing. He was like, oh, that makes me so happy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mora lol. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can just catch that Mogrem in the forest. It was to go down this way. Oh, yes, yeah, so it was going in front of you. And I cut through this grass here. Yeah, oh, it's gone. Well then. Oh, hi, Ranguru! You're not who I was expecting to see here. Yeah? We invest in Pokedex completion. Why would you quash me? What have I done? Yeah, just pop another Toxic. I'll start throwing balls next turn. Okay. And I, I did read your comment before one more thing, but I'm just going back around to it now. I don't know if we can quantify that because it is part dark. It needs to learn some dark moves as part of its typing. I guess I should sort of say it's the, like a pure psychic type that learns dark type moves. Is what was on my mind. I need more balls. Aw. Uh, but Quash failed. Or I guess something that's not part dark typing, rather. I need to work out my team, honestly. I feel like I have weaknesses that need to be addressed. Oh, that was a cr You nasty plotted for a physical power Zen headbutt. Ah. You're a smart ass monkey, ain't ya? No, he's a monkey before him. Whatever, I, I caught the funky monkey. There we go, I'll take that. I'm gonna say this though. I'm finding another complication with the Galarin Pokemon in the form of water types. There's, again, not very many options. Cremorant, mystery solved. I don't want to use Another developer. Dracofish. But the problem, the, yeah, the problem is, is that unless I get specific fossils, my only options are the fear type Barracuda, Dreadmaw, uh, Dreadnaw, and Bird. And Dracofish. I mean, if I could get, well, well, well actually, well, there are two. Yeah, Dracofish is one of them. I can make him. On the other hand, I kind of want to make the water ice one instead, if I'm going to go that route. If I'm going to have something strong against dragon types, then I might as well have the safer option, arguably.
<laughs> I mean, just use what feels right. That's what I'm doing. Huh. I mean, that's what I would be doing, but the problem is that my team has weaknesses like no ground types, for instance, and apparently the only options I have for that is Snek and Yen Mask. Ah. Uh, you know, I, I criticize you, and yet I look at my team and go, huh, we should look at that. I'm using all Galarian stuff. Like, just... I don't know where... Uh, she did say Barascuda. I mean, honestly, I might, I'm half tempted to just ditch Bell Awesome, as tragic as that would be, to fill in another slot at the same time. Oh, well, I saw you. I also don't want to be that bitch and use multiple starters. Because I feel like that's kind of cheating. I mean, uh, because otherwise, I did actually manage to sobble in one of the supplies trade things. I mean, I also managed to score money, so. I could just go get a score money. And use it. Uh, Barry Scuda is good. I mean, like, like I said, it's either that or like I was tempted to try and get the ice water type. The problem is I... Uh, I'm trying to get another fossil, like I'm doing the digging duo every day I can. I only just got one of the sword fossils, but I'm pretty sure it's the one that gives the electric Pokemon half. Which is not helpful to me. Honestly, well, I mean, it's kind of helpful in the sense that, like, I could use a replacement for Bolton. Because, yeah, like, Bolton, like, electric type, the only alternative is other than the fossils is the uh, pin and the sea urchin one, which is, which doesn't evolve. Oh. I'm just gonna go on a limit and say it's Galarian Quillfish. <laughs> no. Dang. Quillfish is actually in the game, though. I will mention that. Yeah, I don't have it. I can make the electric dragon Pokemon. Mm. Oh, hey, Hop. How long have you been there? Okay, I'd have to fall. I had. I have to find the pic. I would have to find the picture again, which I'm not gonna spend the time on right now. But I saw a picture this morning that made me want to see if I can do something to at the end of this game. Because someone drew a picture. Basically, the tweet was, "What do you mean? I can't. I can't let Hop win." And just a picture of Hop, you know. Raising his hands in victory and crying. Aww. Basically painting him as the next champion. Pepe hands. Also, I know about the Toxel. Uh, Bellawson has acid on it. Though I might look through my TMs real quick and see what... I was going to basically stick poison moves on that thing. I know it doesn't get stab bonus anymore, but... Eh. Well, we'll Otherwise, yeah, Toxel would be pretty, uh, tempting. Also, Toxtricity, I think that's what its name is, the evolution? Yeah. I can go look at it really quick just to make sure I'm saying it right. No, you're right. Apples! Like, honestly, if I, I I was half tempted to use Appleton if I didn't have Bell Awesome. Okay, talk to Because that's the only other, like, really big grass type in this game. I, I have, there's so many times I have to stop myself and look at, and when I see this thing, I have to stop myself and go, it's Toxtricity. Because, because System of Down has ruined me. The toxicity of a city, of a city. Yo, writing it on the walls. <laughs> I actually remember that song. <laughs> it's a good song. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I might. Like I said, I kind of need to do like a whole restructuring. I need to get a better water type because, like, just uh, I, I mean, Dreadnought gets liquidation, which is a physical move, which it's sorely needed. But at the same time, it's like like I've been using it, it's still underwhelming. Ooh, fangs! Ooh, fangs! Mm. Thunderfang. Ice Fang, Fire Fang, and Weather Ball. As well as the terrains. Ooh. 
Ooh. And big kick. I'm gonna hold off though. So I can push this more of our items. What can I purchase more of? I kind of want to get the Dynamax Snake, but I don't know how to do that. I'm willing to do this. It's a bad idea, but oh, I'm willing to do this. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't save the money for other vaults. I still want a, ha a good supply of them, though. Oh, yeah, but you don't need a hundred of the damn things. You don't know me. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I can't get over how small Surfetched and Glory Weezing are just because of their fucking smokestack shit. Ah. Uh. Sir, we have to fit the entire model in the squircle. Shrink it! But that'll make it look worse. Shrink it! Oh, hey. I forget what his name is. LGM, there we go. Guys, we need strong enough catch up to Lee. Yeah, let's fight, Hop. I Come feel on, like Hop. Let's go. This is just a personal grief. But I feel like you fight your rivals way too much in this game. No, nah, it's fine. I mean, I, it is at the end of the day, but like, I'm just not used to it. Like. Even X and Y rivals didn't even feel like they challenged you this often. There was as many, actually. I'll tell you why I didn't feel like they challenged you as often. Uh, lower your volume for half a second. Because they all okay. sucked ass. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm no coward. My ears already are ringing. You can't do anything worse to me. <laughs> I'm going to poison a tree. And you can't stop me. It's already dead. Hop, who did you trade with to get that Trevenant? Marty, she helped. Hop, no, actually, more Hop, yes. Yeah, X and Y did feel long. Especially if you did post game, it felt long. <sighs> yeah. Well, I heard post game is actually pretty sizable in this game, so. Good. And not just for filling out the Pokedex, I believe. Uh, there's nothing I can really do to stall us out other than, you know what? I'm just going to say I use Toxic again. Oh! Oh, you... Oh, no, no, no. Top, no. Don't fall to the dark side. Ow, my face! I've hurt my beautiful face! Tell me you make me bleed my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Oh hey, it's been a shock time. You're not living. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> A Snorlax, you say? Well then, let me just give it a good old... Uh, actually, I should have just kept out my wheezing th in retrospect. Actually, no, we just rested and got rid of the poison status. You got yourself a chunky lad. Let's try it. Hit me. Oh, dang it, it's stockpiled. Alright, I already see what's going on here. Hold on, let me get it back out. How many times you gotta teach you this lesson, man?
Oh, that's steel type. Ha <laughs> ha! Tank, by the way. Good job, Hop. You actually used a super effective move. Actually, kind of struggles against Snorlax. Nah, I'm proud of this lad. He's learning. Like, this is probably the most I've been invested in a rival or pseudo rival since N. Since what? N. For black and white. Um. Like, I like Hop a lot. I feel like he's a less annoying Howl. Then again, Howl is pretty good too, in that regard. Venoshock, let's go. Nah, you can you can stockpile. That's fine. Tick, tick. You're on the clock. Ah! Have me more, snake. Now, now I'm gonna be the bitch. <laughs> no, I think I will say that, that the writing in this game is leagues heat more problems are arising I'm gonna go hug I'm gonna go hug it like the writing for the character in this game is great like you've got like the non plus rival in Marnie you've got you've got the over eccentric rival that people have grown to love but then gets like as he is now kind of getting the change in his life like uh, getting a change of his life to re make him realize he can't be 100% all the time with everything he does like like Hop is and then you do have the asshole in bead give me a hug good talk <laughs> Funky is just literally down there leeching experience for the for so long. Oh, speaking of leeching experience, get out there and fight. Why did that intro make pose make me think it could fly? All right, cool move. My turn. Why do I feel like Inteleon can learn fly? Slash, hold up. We may have to forego money. We're foregoing money. <laughs> Sad fetched. Vibe check. Bolton, Bolton. Uh, I don't have any ground type moves, but I do have this monkey that can resist most of what it's going to do. Oh, he's a popper. Let me play you this song of my people. <laughs> I played him this song of my people. Can't believe you beat up the good boy. 
I like hop. Have I said that enough? I don't think I've said that enough. I like hop. Yeah, there's something I should look at. That is what are all the Golan Pokemon. Golan forms. You are what? <laughs> Fucking Broheim of the century right here. Brohemian Rhapsody. Where did I get this guy? What? A pen. Oh, I'm literally about to find him. Okay, cool. It's neat. Why you still? God damn, do I love Hop. And Thievel's just chilling out in the wild. Hey you, can you tell me where Ditto is? No. Rebombi? Oh no! Call me Rebombi. Hey! Who said you could do that? Did mom say you could do that? That's not allowed. That's cheating! Eh. Don't worry about it right now, one more thing. I'm pretty sure eventually I'll come across a trainer that will have a ditto, or I'll see it in the grass at some point. Although I do appreciate the offer. Vespaquin. Bug flying. Cats eat, cats eat dragonflies all the time. Let's go. Uh, this will remind me. What, what rock type super effect up against? What now? What's rock type super effective against? Flying a bug. <laughs> and fire. So, expendable. Okay. I, I honestly don't find myself using rock types very often. Usually because, like, I usually have a fire and a electric, electric type. And flying half the time. Ice flying. Oh, yeah. Ice, too. So, like, I have water to squash fire. I have fire to squash ice and bug and electric to squash flying. Okay, so I don't need Dreadnought so much. I showed off my winning spirit. Hi, Thievel. How's it going? I still want to get that fossil. But I can't find the one fossil I need. Well, I guess I'm not going that way. So just wild perserkers. Okay. You know, I may I, I, I worked. You know, I, I worked up so much here. Can't you at least give it to me? Oh. Yeah. As one more thing is saying, there's only three types that resist rock type moves. But I'm pretty sure Dreadnought is supposed to be a tank of sorts and not a physical attacker. Yeah, I don't need that in a water type. I which, want Arctovish. Which, you gotta remember the other part of, of that equation, though, is... Is that... Oh, hi! You're you're a water rock type? Here's a Vine Whip. Well, Yeah. Like, I want Arctovish, because water ice is a pretty decent combination, usually. I mean, I could try Arcto or the other one, the Dragon. Dracovish? Dracovish, yeah. I could try him. Ooh, I don't ooh, think I've ever rocked a uh, one of dragon type, and it would give me resistances to a great deal of it. Uh, basically the only thing it would be weak to would be fairy. Dragon and fairy, yeah. yeah. I think I that. And ice is only really useful against, let's see, grass flying dragon. 
Yeah, glass, grass finding flying a dragon. Which I also have my bases covered in that regard, so I don't need ice. Well, um, question, does steel type resist ice? Okay. I think it does. Okay. How the fuck do we take on that? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I want to look up something. <laughs> the goon is out here just giving hugs. I need to rename this Obstagoon. I need to rename this Obstagoon. I gotta rename it to Huggies. Okay, fighting type. Got it. A wild berserker. Where did it come from? Yeah, Colonel. Snake, who gave you this number? Okay, bitch in quick balls. Wait, there are quick balls. Oh shit! I didn't even know. I I've been looking for quick balls for a while now. Just in this is just in the wild. I know, like I've been past that spot, but like I didn't even notice it when I went by there the first time. Oops. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess I could do the water dragon. That would be a thing. And yeah, I don't need ice terribly. And it's oddly fast. What, Draco Bish? Yeah. Oh. oh, I mean, that's... Yeah, that would be a good thing. Red balls a little... Red nozzle oh. balls. Oh, no, that's a shelmet. Is okay, it fuck it. Let's make him. Is and I'll, I'll keep trying to get the other one. But... It's not for <gasps> sure. Actually, I could, could consider that. Like, it'd be kind of cheap in doing double fossils, but... Because the other combination would be electric ice. Mm. Then again, I could use poison. I'm, I'm also t contemplating getting rid of the bird, but... Come on, show it. Be a good boy. Then again, having a steel flying type that's actually kind of useful is not bad. Yes. Good to have something other than scar memory for a change. Where do I make room for the ground type? <laughs> Would you like to give Shelwood a nickname? Yes. The only option I can think about doing is benching Corviknight and Bolton, getting Toxtricity, and playing Snake in the party. Imp speed. And benching Dreadnought on Dreadnought for Vigovish. I mean, that's kind of what it. I thought I was going to use Corviknight, and then I got Perserker. And there went Carbonite. Well, like, I'm like, well, the steel flying has been useful, but like, I want to keep Rapid Ash because Psychic Fairy. I want to keep my starter, and I and I have to keep that awesome. Which it does. I'll see. Well, um, I mean, I could get rid of. I'm tempted to keep Acid on there, just if in the event that I uh, what's it? If I Dynamax Bell Awesome, then it gets a max poison move. Uh, yeah, that was that was the reason why I was hesitant because technically Bell Awesome is the poison Pokemon for me. Took the oh, uh, I didn't want you to take the Mago Berry. That's one of the only few I don't have. What's the alternative for Ledge? I think it's just the Pink Cushion. Oh, and hey, that's a Wild Toxel. Dragonzol, Arcazol, Arcazol's tempting. It could just fly out of all. More Pekos. Eh, I'll leave it be. This is why I'm so behind in my game, because I am literally just... I am literally just farming the wild grass encounter, the shaking grass encounters. I'm honestly tempted to just meet around That's a again. whole Corviknight. Get a pin urchin. I need to get another pin urchin, though, because I have one that's plus speed, which is extremely unhelpful. It's like base speed says 15. But in perspective, it's actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get Ditto. I'm going to get the pinners I have, and I'm going to stick them in the breeding center. Dang it. I don't like, uh, I don't like this route. I keep I'm being cornered by Perserkers. And wait. <laughs> you. Oh! 
That's just a whole meow stick. I'll vibe. Oh, please no. That hurts. My soul! Well, we throw balls now, and we'll probably lose the wheezing in the process. They don't seem to be fond of one another. That's... This... Uh, you just gotta make sure they're in the same egg group, I guess, if you're trying to do two, a Pokemon that's not ditto with it. Wait, what? I'm assuming you're trying to breathe something right now. Yeah, I need to get a better nature on this one Pokemon. I'm not waiting until I can actually start getting PP in order to do it. Oh. I mean, the alternative is finding it in the wild, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 5% Pokemon. I did it. I, I have two apples. Well, like, I tried getting a second one at one point. There we go. I somehow didn't die to the Meow Stick. I'm a legend. Actually, I will not name you, but please don't tear apart a tanker with your mind. With your mind bullets. Oh, that is a seismitoad. Well, make it so I don't have to raise up a temple. Especially tanky, you can you can hold this. Listen, there will be none of that in this house, young man. <laughs> Put that HP back. Wow. All right, my last great ball going out. Let's see if I can just catch a size a, a whole size. Nope, not can catch a whole size method. Ow, bitch. You put that HP back oh where you found God. it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I should use the per no. There we go. Ultra Ball. It's time to Ultra Ball. I think I just got a crit capture. No, I didn't. Okay, the animation just looked different. Ow! Oh, why you do these? You put that HP back right now. <laughs> yes, welcome to how Scooter streams and catches Pokemon. You put that HP back right now, young man. Or so help me God. Who do you think this is a fighting game? <laughs> I no. actually need to see if I, I bought the thing and actually have access to the new characters or not. Come on, vibe check. I Let's evolve. Cry. Vibration Pokemon, if you know what I mean. It's popular amongst the elderly who say the vibrations of its lumps are great for massages. Ooh, chief. Ooh. We need... That is... No. We out here vibing. That is... Chief, that is not it. Okay, I think yeah. I've explored most of the Shaking Grass Pokemon. 
When something that seems a little more rare pops up again, I think we've hit the end of the line. It's only loot if you let it be. Oh, it's very loot. You know not the depths of my depravity. Why are there just wild Boldor? Why not? Uh... I need answers. And phone numbers. I'm calling your mans. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gotta make a call. CPS. <laughs> Is that a weed? What? No, I'm calling the police. Alright, what's hiding out? Oh! Oh! Woo! Hit them. Woo! <laughs> so you I'm, might have trouble I looking want! at the type. Yes! Fuck yes! <laughs> See, that's why I like uh, the quick balls. Oh. You just yeet them and it actually works out more than half the time. Oh my gosh! I was way too excited about that! What is their typing anyway? Fighting. What the f <laughs> Yeah, not what I would have expected, definitely. I, I, expected, ste some... I expected Steel Bug! Yeah, uh, no, Steel was one of the typings I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like Steel Bug or something. Oddly enough, they're not the only Pokemon that's kind of like that. You know what, I'm going to say Sparta, just to say it's a Devil May Cry reference, but I'm also going to say, I'm also just going to make it a cheeky Sparta. Because this is Sparta. I already have a Golette, so I don't need to worry about that. Oh god, I just realized what time it is. I'm, I may need to stop in a, in a quick minute here. Yeah, I probably need to get off some trail. Alright, I think I'll catch this Pokemon and I'll resume my uh, quest for conquesting after after this, but holy cow. Yeah, I might just leave it up to my Pokemon having sex to the thing. Phrasing. Keep going. I know what I said. Keep going. Alright, I know it's poison, but don't kill it. There you go. Good job. Boop. You know, I never thought I would have this much fun with a wheezing, but here we are. Take my balls. Spinner now. Let's load. But they're ultra. They're plus ultra even. I gotta see the stats on Phalanx, though, before I go, because I gotta see. I have to see. I have to see the stats on Phalanx to see if it would be worth it. That's the wrong pocket, Scooter. Go to this pocket. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna rely on the Ditto to hopefully produce something for me. Summary. Okay, so 98 attack, 62 speed. Kind of a slow boy. Oh, I guess minus attack. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Wolf said it uh, was going on about how plus defense was actually a good one. Now, this is the level. Now, yeah. this failing to the level 40, so I could use it right away. It is. It's about the same, but it's faster. It's a plus speed. Plus speed and minus special, special attack. attack. That's pretty good, actually. Wow. How can I. Uh... Oh, it does get a bug type move, huh? Yeah, I gotta see. What is first impression? 
Oh, it needs a better bug type move. No retreat. Ooh. It's an interesting move. I mean, if it's the last one going on your party, you can just do that for free stats. Ooh. That's a kind of a risky Pokemon, I would say. I'm taking it out, and I'm gonna see what it can, what it can learn throughout its life. Surfetch, go back in. I worked so hard to get this, and it's just like, but Phalanx. It Phalanx though. Also, because I do have the hat, I gotta see what level does the hat evolve at. All right, where are you? You are... Hetterene. 42, ugh. Also, apparently it, it has a, a Gigantamax. So what is this? Okay, that's what this ping is. Uh, I thought so. So we're not going to stop yet. I'm going to take a trip back to the Pokemon Center. Because I really, I do want to see what this thing can learn. And then it will kind of decide what I go, what I do from there. Oh, I, I hate. Make this I hate this shit posting, sir. Uh, chat in the server I'm in. Which server? Uh, it's uh, Litheros. Oh, now I got kicked out of that because I'm not so advanced. Yeah, brother, may I have some cats? And it's just a Fruit Loop looking at a bowl of cats. <laughs> I I hate. I actually can hate. The brother meme. It's been a while on that one. Uh, remember a move. Alright, Sparta, let's see what you got here. So, you can learn Rock Smash. Good. Headbutt. Bulk up, though. You know, I think I like its loadout as is, and I think I'll just keep this. Although I, I would like something to replace Endure, though. Headbutt. Oh, it starts as level 10. That's not good. Yes. But like I was going Oh, and that's Oh, please tell me this is a special attacker. Oh, uh, it's... No, it's physical. I have, to I have to reset. Plus plus special attack minus normal attack. So now good. <laughs> yeah. Like mine's level ten, but it's got uh plus speed nature and it's already kinda fast. Where did I save? Oh, I hope it didn't save when I made that Pokemon. It didn't. Okay, that's good. Oh, also I got a... I got a Galarian Darumaka from Wonder Trade. I still need to find one of those. I think I actually have access to it now, but... And there's a Bun Bun. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> So we got a lot here. I highly doubt this thing evolves. I'm gonna go check, you know, I think I still got the website open, right? No, I don't. I can get it open. What the? No, Phalanx does not evolve. Okay. 
That's fine. I'm cool with using single stage Pokemon. Oh, it's shiny art is or shiny sprite is actually great or yeah, shiny model I should say. Plus the def special defense minus defense. I don't know if that's good or not. Like the the red turns gold, and the yellow turns copper. I like the shiny of phalanx. Actually, it might not be too bad. Oh, what's hindering? All right. Hindering nature, 269. Oh, all right. It's... It balances its defenses out as a minus defense, special defense, and plus special defense. I'm going to keep this. Yeah, in the future, oh. I'll probably, I might get a shiny Zigzagoon. Just because I need my, I need my K-pop rocker. <laughs> Freaking cotton candy, you can't tell me otherwise. Anyway, did anybody have any questions before I end off tonight? Uh, while we get those rolling in, I'm gonna go look for someplace to send you guys off to for the evening. Where is Lendis? That's not your bit. Why? That, that's, not, that's not a bit you can use. You're not my dad. Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of... I kind of want to send you guys over to Botanic Sage. Because he is at the part I just left off at. Okay. He is fighting Hop on the bridge post-Gym 5. Ooh, Venoshock? Can I... Oh, what do you mean I can't teach Venoshock the... To... Oh, no, wait, I can't. Hell yeah. You know what? Hold on. I know who I'm going to pass it off to, because everybody's playing Pokemon anyway. We're going to pass it over to Alan. Whoa. So, 